Weak memory, bad at studies, cannot compete, cannot score. How many times have you heard this stuff? Probably many times. But let me tell you something, your memory is not weak. That is just a myth. None of you has a weak memory. You are not dumb. You are not bad at studies. You are just careless. You don't know the art of studying smartly. You read once and maybe revise it once. Then don't touch it again for six months. Do you think you can remember it all? Do you think you can score high? No, you cannot. And then when the results don't go your way, you start blaming your memory, your basics or your luck, etc. But deep down, it is just your poor strategy, not your poor memory. It's your approach, it's your method. So what should you actually do to remember things better? How do you study smart, not just hard? What are those brain hacks that top students secretly use? If you are wondering about all these, just stay tuned to this video till the end and you will get your answers. And the number one hack is time and effort. There is just one way to get better at anything and it is your time and effort. That's it. No one is born a genius or a failure. Did you know there are just two kinds of students? One who takes things seriously and the other who doesn't. Now the one who spend more time practicing ends up solving more problems and people call them smart. Now the one who barely puts in time struggles and he thinks he is weak. And even people around label him weak. So you see what is happening? You are not weak, you just don't give time and effort. You read, you finish your chapter but you don't revise. So your brain doesn't hold the information for long. The trick is to revise at least once in 21 days. And if you can revise every 7 days, the material will stick for good. Even if someone wakes you up at 3 a.m. and asks questions on those topics, you will answer them. Why? Because the more you revise, the deeper it goes into your subconscious. So you have to put in time and effort. The more you give, the more you get. Now the hack number two, stay stress free. So this is super fact. If you are constantly under stress, your memory will decline. And if you keep overthinking the same stuff over and over again, you will waste both your energy and time. So yes, avoid two things, taking stress and overthinking the same issue repeatedly. Say you had a fight with your girlfriend or boyfriend and if you keep replaying the incident in your mind, you said this, you shouldn't have said that and so on. What is happening here? So your brain is busy running that loop instead of remembering important stuff. Your focus and memory suffer big time. So whether you are studying or living life, don't take stress and don't dwell on one thing repeatedly. Your memory will remain sharp. Have you ever noticed that young children can memorize the whole Gita, Ramayana or Quran easily? Why? Because they don't stress, they have no emotional mess. They are just chill, playing around and not worried about who is watching or judging. But as we grow up, we start stressing ourselves every little thing. Did I embarrass myself? Did somebody make fun of me? Did I mess up? Etc. Avoid it. It drains your brain power. And if you get stuck in stress or emotional drama, trust me, you will forget by evening what you studied in the morning. You know what? Some people start stressing just because someone else is doing better. Others live in fantasy mode. They think God will come and save them. Look, no magical savior is coming. If you got a fall, fall in real life. And if you want to rise, do it in reality. No point suffering in a fantasy. You have to control your emotion and distractions now. And if you, can, if you can't control them, society will control you later with the taunts, opinions and pressure. Even a dead person will jump up from his grave and ask you to come and sleep with me. Do you want that situation? You know, when you are in school, college or preparing for your competitive exam, those few years of discipline will set you up for your entire life. So during those four to five years, you must learn self-control. And the next hack is time your focus. Let's understand this. Our focus fluctuates. It comes in waves, which means nobody can stay laser focused for the entire day. Your brain just doesn't work like that. In reality, focus actually comes and goes in waves. So what actually happens is that sometimes you are totally focused and you are doing one thing and you are not multitasking. And other times your brain is off dreaming, thinking about movies, friends, food, etc. 
and you know what this is completely normal so how should you manage your focus you should study in short 20 to 25 minute sessions when your focus is at the peak and take breaks when attention dips yes when you feel your attention is drifting take a short break grab a coffee stretch a bit check your phone or just stare into space whatever you want to do the idea is to recharge your brain so it is ready for next session tell me when you go to the gym do you lift the weights non-stop for an hour definitely not you do in sets and take breaks you have to apply the same logic here you know you forget something not because your memory is weak but because your brain is occupied with something else now hack number four quiz yourself yes quiz yourself or you can call it self-testing this is super effective brain hack what is it all about you have to give your brain a workout whatever you study in the last one hour ask yourself questions about the subject what will happen the brain has to work harder to retrieve the answer which actually makes the brain way stronger so when you ask questions you give a bit of challenge to your brain which makes the memory stick even better it is like working out the harder your muscles work the stronger they get so the idea is not to just keep feeding the information retrieve the information as well the more you retrieve the more you try to recall the better your brain muscle becomes so let me give you a pro tip before you go to bed or wrap up your study day quickly test yourself on everything you covered ask why how when as many questions as you can when you recall the information, they will stick better. Just try out. You will see the difference yourself. Now, hack number five, chunking information. Yes, you should break large information into smaller chunks. Your brain doesn't like being bombarded with a tons of info at once. Can you carry 10 bags of groceries with two hands? Something will fall, right? Same happens with the brain. It cannot take a whole chapter in one go. So how should you go about it? You have to read and understand a small section first, like a few paragraphs or a subtopic. And once you are okay with that, move to the next small piece. And after you have done a few, go back and try to remember them all together. Just understand this way. You remember how you used to arrange puzzle pieces one by one to form a big picture? You have to study in the same manner. And you can also think of it like packing clothes in a suitcase. You never dump all the clothes in one go. And if you do that, taking out something becomes difficult, isn't it? But when you put clothes one by one neatly, taking out an outfit would be so easy. I hope this is quite clear now and I cannot make it more clear. Now hack number six, rest and recover. Your brain needs rest to actually remember stuff. Don't fry your brain by cramming non-stop. You might feel productive, but overusing it won't help. So what you are supposed to do? Every 20 to 30 minutes of studying, take a short break. Just give your brain a breather and do whatever you like during that short break. And the next important thing is your sleep. No sleep means your brain doesn't get time to file the information properly. Whenever you read, won't stick in the memory. So you need seven to eight hours of sleep every day and make a sleep schedule and stick to it every day. Look, whenever you study and when you sleep, the memory turns them into solid and long-term memories. Your brain actually cements the information you studied when you sleep. And the hack number seven, physical exercise. Your moment promotes your memory. Without it, information may not stick despite repeated reading. Yes, working out actually helps you remember stuff. Any physical exercise like walking, running, dancing, even chasing your dog around the house can make your brain better. It actually cements the information. And without moment, it is like trying to build a wall with no cement. So get up, move around and let your brain work better. So that's all for now. I hope you find this helpful. Do share, subscribe and like the video and I'll bring more useful videos for you. Thank you and see you next time.